All right, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, all depending on when and where you're watching this video. And welcome to another workshop on USWAP. Now, today's workshop is going to be a little bit shorter. We're going to go through everything within USWAP, of course, but we're not going to go specifically into all the details about everything. We are going to have a quick Q&A at the end, but I want you all to overall see the see the big picture of what we're doing here. Everything that is happening within USWAP, with the IDOs, with listings, with the NFT marketplace, with the games coming up, and so much more, and especially the DeFi for beginners. This is something we really want to put a lot of focus on and, and, and put a lot of emphasis on because this is what will grow the community. This is what will grow the, the crypto community around this world. It's about education, it's about information, it's about knowledge, and that's what we want to pass on in this USWAP community. So without further ado, we are going to share the screen and we are going to look at the USWAP DEX, of course. So let me just get that up here. Let me blow it up. And here we are. So as we, hold on, let me just bring that back up to where it was supposed to be. Now, as we know, USWAP is a decentralized exchange protocol, meaning that it is um, an exchange which is built upon smart contracts. Every single trade, every single swap does not have a third party intervention like normal centralized exchanges does. Everything happens through smart contract protocol. For example, when you go into the use swap decks, you do not need to set up an account. You do not need to do KYC. You do not need to deposit. You do not need to fill the order books and you do not need to make a draw. When you're uh, interacting with a decentralized exchange, you're connecting instantly with your wallet. Now, that would be a wallet that can interact with dApps, decentralized applications. That means they have the Web3 function. Uh, for Tron, you have, of course, Clever Wallet, Tron Link. When you're on the computer, I always recommend Tron Link because that is the, uh, the desktop version. And if you're on the phone, you can use either Tron Link or Clever Wallet. Now, as you can see here, I am on my desktop. And you can already see that my wallet address is showing up here and also an amount of TRX, which means my wallet is now connected to the smart contract protocol that runs on the Tron blockchain. Now, what can I do now? Well, I can swap and trade any tokens that is on the USWAP exchange. So if I go through the list here, let's say I already have TRX and I would like to invest and buy some UME. I want to use that UME to provide liquidity. I, I might want to farm more UME and accumulate these tokens because UME will be and is your gateway to multiple revenue streams within the USWAP ecosystem. So if I would like to swap from TRX to UME, I enter the amount either TRX that I want to swap for or how many UME that I would like to buy. Let's say that I want to purchase for 4,300 TRX. That will give me 102.9 UME. So very simple to do so, I click on swap. Now the details will come up. Uh, the price will be 41.76 TRX per UME. Minimum received is 92.6. And what I will receive is 102. There is a price impact of 0 0.13, which is practically nothing. And then you also see a liquidity provider fee, which is 12.9 TRX. The 12.9 TRX is 0.3% fee uh, of the amount that you are swapping. So there's always a 0.3% fee. Now, when I confirm this swap, it will pop up in my wallet as well, and I will confirm it there. And once confirmed, it is going back here. Now we can already see that it has been added the UME onto my, um, into my balance. So already instantly, the swap has been made. The TRX went from my wallet into the smart contract, and the UME went from the smart contract into my wallet. All of this happened instantly and without any human intervention. This is the the benefits, and this is the pros of having a decentralized exchange. There's no human interaction in it. So you can swap between any token that you see on this exchange. More and more tokens will come as we are releasing more and more IDOs and more third-party IDOs, of course. Now, I want to talk just briefly about the liquidity provider fee. So as you see, every time we do a swap, let's say I want to swap 1,000 TRX, I pay three TRX in fee. If I swap 10,000, I pay 30. And if I swap 100,000, that will be 300. It is always 0.3% of what you are swapping. Now, that 0.3% fee goes to the liquidity providers of USWAP, those who makes it possible to be able to swap and trade on this DEX exchange. So how does this actually work? Well, by providing liquidity, uh, easily said, it means providing assets, providing crypto assets to USWAP, two different so that it can be, a swap can be made. And if you do so, you will actually be taking part of a share of this 0.3% fee. Of course, depending on how much liquidity you add it. So let's go to the liquidity section. If we want to add liquidity, you can see here already there is some liquidity added. If you want to add liquidity, for example, let's say I just bought some UME. Uh, I want to add liquidity of TRX and UME. So I simply go in here. I need to select a token, UME. Let's take that off as well. Now I want to add liquidity. So I bought, what was it, 109 UME. So let's add that into liquidity. I put 109 UME. That equals to 4,533 TRX. 
what happens now when I click on supply is that I allow to send the 109 UME and the 4,500 TRX into the smart contract protocol that holds TRX and UME. This adds liquidity to the swap protocol, which allows other people to make those swaps. And the reason, or due to the reason that you were providing liquidity to that pool, you will receive a share of every single swap that happens in this pool. So if somebody swaps between, between TRX and UME, you get paid. Somebody swaps between UME and TRX, you get paid. For every single pool you provide liquidity to, you will receive a share of the fee that is drawn in all those pools. So that is one incentive for users to provide liquidity to a decentralized exchange. They have assets, but it's just staying there. It's in the wall, it's not doing anything. Right now, they can put it to use. They can provide liquidity to Uswap and they will earn the swap fee that is coming on. And the more people that are utilizing Uswap, the more people trading, the higher these swap fees will be, of course, or the more of them there will be. But that's not the only thing. There is one more incentive for the liquidity providers, and that is the staking and the yield farming of UME. Now, UME, as we know, is the proprietary governance token over the Uswap DEX exchange. It has multiple use cases within this ecosystem and asset. It is the gateway to be able to create multiple income streams within Uswap ecosystem. Now, in order to farm UME, uh, you have multiple, multiple options and multiple, multiple, multiple tokens that you can pair and provide liquidity to. Now, most of them are paired with UME, but you do also have pools that are paired with USDT TR, uh, TRX, TRX Banker, BTC USDT. Uh, so you still have all the pools. But my recommendation, if you want to start farming for UME, if you want to participate in this yield farming, you my re recommendation would be to buy some UME and pair that UME with the asset that you already have and then stake and earn. Because if you are providing liquidity, for example, USDJ TRX, you, are, uh, you will be needed to, to have UME anyway. You need to freeze UME in order to farm in those pools. So even if you do have those two assets, you can't farm unless you actually already bought some UME that you can freeze. Now these pools, as you can see, also have a slightly higher API. Uh, we can also see that here, uh, except for the, uh, for the Lori pools, of course, we'll get back to that later. Uh, but my recommendation would be if you are interested in farming UME, purchase some UME just the way that I did now, swap some TRX to UME and then provide liquidity with that UME and the TRX. Because what you can do now is that you can farm. Let's, let me go to the TRX UME pool. Uh, let me see here. Here we go. So TRX UME pool has an API of 86.33. There's a lot of people farming in this. We see 74,000 UME and 3.07 million TRX is in liquidity in this pool. Now, farming in this pool, it has a farming speed of 322. Uh, once you have staked your LP tokens, the liquidity provider tokens that you receive from providing liquidity, you will also see personal info. So here we can see my liquidity is 4,125 TRX, 99 UME. And with that, I am farming 0.47 UME every 24 hour. Now I'm going to stake the balance of LP tokens that I received when I provided that additional liquidity of 109 UME and 4,500 TRX. So what I do now is I click on max and I will get the LP token. So this is the amount of LP tokens that I received from putting in 109 UME and 4,500 TRX. I'm going to remove some of the last decimals. It's always recommended. And then I'm going to click on stake. And I'm going to confirm it in my wallet. And then we are back here. Let me see. Transaction was successfully sent. And when it pops up like this, it's now already done. So if I go into the TRX UME again, we can now see under my personal info, uh, 4,000, my liquidity, 4,169 and 100.24. Oh, I didn't really add that full, did I? Full tokens, 41. Let me go back and see there. I do believe that I managed to make a slight mistake here. Let me just refresh the site. Maybe that's it. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, now it actually did update slightly more. Let me go here back into the TRX UME. Uh, 104,100, 0.47. Didn't actually my transaction go through there or how was that? Let me just check the bands that is there. Two seconds here, guys. Oh, these live videos is always, always fun. Let me go <laughs> have a look here. Let me see here. Stake. But I did just actually add liquidity into TRX UME. Eh? Sorry, guys. I'm just confirming here two times if I did a, if I did a mistake or what I did. I thought, I, or maybe I just saw wrong on the numbers. Uh, I do believe so, right, Hella? Yeah. 
<laughs> I probably saw wrong on the numbers there when I've added it in. But anyway, uh, that is actually how simple it is to provide liquidity. So let's do it just one more time. We go to liquidity. We click on add liquidity. We got TRX. We got UME. Let's say that we will add. Yeah, I can see here it didn't actually would, uh, take off anything. So let's say 100 UME I want to put in. I want to supply. Let us confirm that supply. Confirm it in the wallet. And then let's go back. And now here we go. We see another 100 UME added at 4,159. Now we went in. So let's go over to the staking. And the UME TRX that was down here. And let's go on stake once more. There we go. Now we got 41. That was a lot more than the 0 0.9 or 0 0.8 that we added last time. So 41, that is what I'm going to add. I'll remove the decimals. We'll stake it. We'll confirm it. And then we'll go back in and we should see the site change pretty soon. There we go. And looking at the TRX UME now. Let me just update. And as we can see now, it's 199.3339 UME and 8,297. There we go. So there was a, <laughs> was a mistake there with the first one. The confirmation didn't actually go through. But here we are. That is actually how easy it is to stake your LP tokens once you have provided liquidity. And what's that, what happens next? Well, automatically you start to accumulate UME. Uh, you will see every second, every minute, every half hour, this number is going to increase. Uh, farming is continuously ongoing for 24 hours and then for 24 hours uh, or more or less never ending. Uh, so this is exactly how it works. Now you can see 0 0.94 UME per 24 hours, that equals to 39.19 TRX. Uh, and you can claim, of course, at any time. So that is how simple it is to actually utilize Uswap for the three most common uh, use cases, so to say. That is the swapping to trade between different tokens. It is to provide liquidity in order to earn the swap fees. And it is also to stake and uh, stake the LP token so that you can earn you and me basically for free. Now, going forward, uh, moving away from this, let us have a look at the IDO section. As we know, uh, IDO is shortening for an initial DEX offering. Uh, and this is a way where you can actually participate and buy new tokens with a new unique token sale model. IDO listing offers you access to projects before they go public. So we already had two IDOs, one of Lume and one of Lori, both of them a huge success. One of them did five or six times, uh, you know, the other one did 14, 15 times. And as we now move forward and go on, of course, the play, uh, price will fluctuate up and down. It will decrease, it will increase, it will decrease until the market is stabilized again. And as we now increase, we uh, increase the ecosystem and the usability for these tokens that we've had an IDO on, uh, you'll see that the price that was at an all-time high, uh, that will be long gone. We will see a, a much, much higher, uh, higher uh, all-time high very, very soon. Now, participating in IDO is very simple. You connect your wallet to Uswap. You need to have UME tokens. When you buy the IDO tokens, the only thing you can buy them with is UME tokens. So for every single IDO, you have multiple, multiple people around this world, including our ecosystem that is already farming, of course, but we're promoting this to the world. And that world is coming in to buy UME so that they can participate in the pre-sale as well. Now, there will always be a limited amount of pre-sale tokens, so there will be a limited amount per each wallet. There will also be a referral. There's a referral bonus on all IDOs, meaning that you can earn an additional 10% of the IDO tokens from the referrals that you bring in. And then, of course, after the IDO, you can claim that uh, you can claim the IDO tokens according to the release method that has been set up for that specific IDO. Uh, currently, there's no one under soon. There's no one under active, but we do have two of them under ended, which is Lume and Lori. Here you can also see the details of what was supposed to be how much how many tokens was for presale. Well, what were we looking to raise? How many UME has been burned uh, when it started, when it ended? And then, of course, how much was committed? So the first IDO, we did 94.85% over 72 hours. The next IDO, we actually did 335% in just 24 hours. So the coming IDO that will be coming very, very soon, we will announce this either tomorrow or the next day, uh, will not be lasting more than maybe two to three hours. Two to three hours will be the IDO time B. So we will, of course, place the IDO at, uh, at a time where most of the world is open. So around 2 p.m., 3 p.m. CET, because at that time, we will cover both the Asian region as well as the uh, American and Latin American region as well. So everybody has an opportunity. If you don't think that this time suits you, bad luck, tough luck, put the alarm on. Because if you want to be in the IDO, uh, that's the time that you will be able to be in it. And a little bit of that is because there, we saw so much demand on the on the Lori IDO, and we saw so many new members coming in, new users coming from people marketing, from promoting, and that's exactly what we want people to do. 
But let's say, let's say like this, if we close the IDO after just six hours on Lume, we would still have 160 to 170% raised. What happened over the next two days, uh, or, or sorry, in the next uh, 18 hours, what was that it went up to 335. Now this reduced the amount of tokens that everyone received, but everybody also received uh, their UME back, which was not used in the IDO. And that UME you could use to buy, a lot of people use that to buy Lori on the exchange when it was listed. So we've had tremendous success. And I gotta say guys, Uswap is the only legit and real IDO launchpad on the Tron network. There is another service out there, but I wouldn't call it a launchpad. I, I wouldn't call it anything for IDOs. They have practically nothing. When you do an IDO, you want to make sure that what you offer to those you're making an IDO for is actually something that matters. Any, anyone can do an IDO, but if they don't have a network, if they don't have people following them, if they don't have a community, that IDO will not do anything. It probably won't get sold out either. That's a very big difference from us because with Uswap, we've been growing organically. We've been educating members for more than nine months now where people have a full understanding of the concept of what we're doing, at least as good as possible. And what that is, this is why we're doing these Zooms as well, so we can get a better understanding. But uh, the community that we have and the organic growth that we've had over the past nine months, no shillers, no YouTubers, no you know uh, Telegram push for people and, and dummy accounts and this and that. No, we wanted to stay away from that. We appreciate organic growth because you know what? That's the strongest growth of them all. Organic growth. How can we say it? Organic growth keeps and what is to, to stay and remain as it was, so to say. If you have organic growth, you have a strong community that shares the vision, that is educated, that knows what's going on and is willing to help anyone and everyone that is coming in. And that is what you're seeing from this community. So I'm really, really proud of each and every one of you. And we got so much to look forward to. Now, uh, one thing that I want, before we go into the, the other thing, let's go through the remaining things here. So we also have of course, the NFT marketplace. Guys, the NFT marketplace is, is, is one of the best on the market. It is absolutely top notch. Uh, if you compare it to other platforms such as OpenSea or Rarible on Ethereum network, you'll see that the Uswap NFT marketplace is practically one of the best out there. It is by far the best on the Tron network because it's the only one on the Tron network. We are the world's first public NFT marketplace where anyone can actually come in and upload NFTs, auction them out, sell them, buy them, or do as they wish with them. Uh, and this is pretty unique because this has never been done or never been allowed by anyone before. There has been marketplaces, but these are specific marketplaces for one single service. For example, the T-Punks marketplace. They have a marketplace for T-Punks, but you can only upload and sell the T-Punks there. What about everybody else who creates uh, NFTs? What about all the artists? What about all the uh, um, musicians? What about everyone else who also wants to create NFTs like they're doing on the Ethereum network? Well, guess what? They can now do it for a fraction of the cost on the Tron network through the NFT marketplace created by the Uswap team. And of course, once they're on the Uswap NFT marketplace, they will be looking into everything else we have, the assets exchange, liquidity, staking, who, ref, vote, NFT, IDO, pairs. It is just, it brings, you know, everyone together. If you're coming from the, for the NFT, you will be discovering the farming. If you're coming from the farming, you'll be discovering the chicken coop. If you come from the chicken coop, you'll discover the farming and the NFTs. So this is how we all implement it together, making sure that it's, that it is a circle that kind of brings everything back to each other. So guys, I want you all, if you haven't done it yet, do some, you know, take some pictures of this marketplace, post it onto your social media, make sure that everyone knows that the NFT space on Tron, it's open. It's open for the world. So this is really cool. I'm very, very excited about this. One thing that we are going to announce now next week, maybe this week or next week, I haven't really decided yet. Uh, I will drop this now. I do believe I have mentioned it before as well, but we are announcing the first official partnership with Mr. Danuta Rothschild, uh, a famous oil painting artist with very surrealistic uh, art. Uh, and she has been, what can we say, kind enough to, to give us 15 unique art pieces, uh, which is, or an original oil painting. And we will auction these out one by one. Uh, there will be a lot of marketing for them. And this is something that we believe will draw a lot of new names and a lot of new users to the Uswap NFT marketplace. Now, this will happen as soon as we go out of the beta launch because after the beta launch, all contracts on the Uswap NFT marketplace will be coded with royalty in them. Now, I hope you guys have heard that word, royalty. That means if you as an author, if you create NFT and that NFTs are, are taken off and they're, you know, they're being sold, resold, sold again, changing hands, 
Usually the artist only gets paid once when they sell their art the first time. With the royalty coding in the Uswap NFT the contracts, you will be paid every single time your NFT switches hands. So if you sold it once, the first time you receive the full amount, but now there's a new owner. If that owner sells it for a higher price or lower, most likely higher, and it changes hands, well, 5% of the price that they sold it for will go to the author. And we're also looking at coding in royalty, not just to the author, but also to the person who brought the author. If you introduced an artist, an author, or a singer to Uswap, and they used your reflink to connect with Uswap before they went into the NFT marketplace and started to, give, to start to create their NFTs, well, guess what? You got a percentage royalty on that as well. And if you brought the buyer of that NFT, if you invited a person to Uswap, they, brought you, they used your link to come in, and they go on to the NFT marketplace and they start buying tons of NFTs, well, that's a percentage royalty to you too. Why? Because you took the effort to share Uswap, to share the NFT marketplace with someone else. And that person ended up buying something from the NFT marketplace. In our opinion, we feel that you should get paid for that. And the same goes for the person who brought the artist. And of course, the same goes for the artist itself. So guys, the NFT marketplace that we built, that we have created, and that we are all a part of, it will be one of the best, if not the best on all networks. And people will flock to come to our NFT marketplace to create their NFTs because they want that royalty. Imagine if Beeple had royalty on all his artwork. You know, they're changing hands for millions and millions of dollars several times a week. He would be set for life. Same goes for the T-Punks. Imagine if, the, if Larva Labs had a 5% royalty on every single T-Punk that they created. Imagine what revenue that would create for, for, for the team behind. It's, it's the amount is just ridiculous. You can't even think about it. But this is something that will be a massive, massive sell point or sales point for Uswap, for the NFT marketplace. Why should artists come to us? Why should we bring buyers to you? Why should I promote Uswap? Well, you should promote Uswap and use your reflink because you got multiple ways where that reflink will benefit you. It will benefit you in yield farming. It will benefit you in IDOs. It will benefit you in NFTs. It's just It just keeps building and building to become more and more. This is what we're working for not the short-term profit that everyone and anyone can make. Even a crack addict can make short-term profit. You don't see a crack addict go without his crack for a full day. No, he doesn't matter if he has money or not. He's going out there and he's getting his crack. That's just how it is. Everyone can make short-term profit. What we're looking at is making long-term wealth. Short-term profit will go away just as quick. Easy come, easy go. But if you really build something that you believe in, that you have, and you have a vision behind it and a mission behind it, you're building something called long-term wealth. Not a lot of people knows how to generate that or has the ability or just don't know. But we are on the right path here with the Uswap. There's no doubt about it. This is a long-term project and we're all here because we want long-term wealth. We want to make sure that we leave a legacy, not just for ourselves, but for our children and for our grandchildren and for the world itself. Because what we're building is something that the entire world can use and benefit from. We hope that we are creating a better future for millions and millions of people with what we're doing. All right, moving on from NFTs, uh, let's have a look at the coop. So <laughs> the coop, I love this coop. And I know a lot of you guys love this coop as well. So the UME or the chicken UME coop, I like to call it the UME chicken coop. Uh, it is the home to UME chickens and it lays UME eggs. Now the UME chicken coop is a new way of interacting with DeFi services. It is, it, it's, it's laid out as a game. And it's a lot of it's a lot of fun, and it's a lot of profit in it. Uh, and the reason, one of the reasons why we wanted to create a simple game where people can be introduced to DeFi in a different way than what they are today. Because today, when you introduce some, someone to a Dex, to DeFi, to yield farming, already there you got three words that they don't understand: Dex farming, and yield farming, you know, staking. What's that? And then you got to start explaining. Well, you, you provide liquidity. Uh, what's, what is liquidity, uh, you know, and you stake and earn, you got LP tokens. There's so many new words that, you know, if you're a beginner into, into this space, you don't really know all this. And it's, it's overwhelming. It can be overwhelming. And a lot of people look at it and they only see numbers floating around and, you know, they can't really digest what they're seeing and they're taking a step back. Now with the chicken coop and the Uswap farmland that we're now building, that will not happen. We have the ultimate, the ultimate intro for beginners in crypto, especially for those who want to learn about DeFi, about DEXs, about yield farming, about lucrative ways and um, lucrative ways where you can actually generate revenue. 
so the Yumi chicken coop is as easy as this. You purchase a chicken for a thousand tron. Now that chicken will now start laying eggs for you. One chicken or a level one chicken will lay you one egg a day. As you can see here, my chicken is level 51. Uh, it lays 51 eggs a day. You can see here eggs laid 79.2. You can also see below that there is a trap for Lori. Now, Lori is another token that we have, of course. Uh, everybody here probably knows that already. Uh, but yeah, Lori is another token we had. That was the, the IDO token. Uh, Lori is actually an NFT raffle token. There was 100 unique NFTs uh, launched with this token. And every single week, there is, a uh, there is a random draw between these 100 NFTs where 10 NFTs will be selected and they will share 10% of the staking fee from the Lori pools. We just did that this Friday, and I think more than 11,000, I think it was 11,800 Lori was actually given out as a prize. That is more than 8,000, that was more than $8,700 that was shared between 10 people in just one week. Next Friday, we're going to do the same thing again. And the Friday after that, the same thing again. But okay, back to the, to the chicken coop game. So you buy a chicken, that chicken will start laying you eggs. Uh, each one egg equals to one UME. Now you can claim and withdraw the eggs to your wallet at any time. And at that time they will convert to UME. So basically it's like staking in a solo farm. It's like almost provide, like, providing like a little bit of liquidity and then staking and earning. Now, what can you actually do with these eggs? Well, I said, you can claim them to your wallet or you can put them in the trap for Lori. Now, Lori is an animal that is very, very fond of eggs and he will try to get those eggs to, to, get, to get some food in his belly. <laughs> what happens is that it will be catched. It will go under the trap. So you can see here that I have 381 eggs in my trap, and I have caught 141.5 lorries, which is kind of cool. This means that I've purchased an egg or a hen for a thousand tron. It lays me eggs, and then I purchased this trap for a thousand tron as well. And now I can use my eggs in the trap, and I would automatically accumulate lorries. So buying a chicken for a thousand TRX allows me to farm you and me, and with that you and me, I'm able to farm lorry if you want to put it in simple ways, simple terms. But the game itself allows people to understand it in a much, much simpler way. There's no farming, liquidity providing, LP tokens, staking, unstaking, all, all of this. This can come in a later stage. They come into this, they come into the chicken coop, they start earning the eggs, they start earning the lorries, they claim some eggs, they got Yumi in their wallet. Now they're interesting, now they're hyped up. Now they think this is really, really awesome. I want to learn more. I want to check out what is this liquidity providing? What is, you know, uh, impermanent loss? What is, how do I do staking by providing two assets? And this is where the education comes in. This is where we as a community steps up. First, we bring them in. Of course, we bring them in to the DeFi for beginners because there are so many people that don't understand crypto yet. They want to learn, but they don't have an easy way of learning. We just gave it to them. And this is just the beginning, my friends. We are currently right now working on the next addition to the Uswap farmland. Uh, we will be changing the interface a little bit as we as we go on. We want to have two or three more uh, animals and services up into the farmland before we actually start to develop uh, a graphic image over the Uswap farmland where you can start to, for example, you'll see a forest, you'll see a pig farm, a cow farm, you'll see some chickens, you got some lorries hanging in the tree and whatever service you're in, whatever you're now looking for, if you're looking for your chicken coop, well, you click on the chickens and it will take you to the chicken coop page. If you're looking for your cows, well, you click on the cows, it will take you there. If you're looking for corn, you go to the corn section, you know, so you will have a full graphic image showing a, a, far, a farmland, a barn, a farmland and everything uh, so that it becomes kind of a semi-interactive game. But, uh, and it, it, all of this will just make it so much more fun for people to use it as well. And think about this, guys. A lot of people were asking me, why do we need to come in and engage every single day? It all has a lot to do with statistics. Because when, when third-party sites such as DAP Radar, DAP Stats, and all this are, are looking at the users that are active and the, 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 the activity within the DEX, the volume within the DEX, the transactions within the DEX, well, they're looking at everything that we're doing, all contracts that we have. And the more we have... Um, the more unique wallets we have interacting with Uswap on a daily basis, the higher we get on the ranking and the more people will automatically see us. So guys, make sure that you promote this amazing game where people can actually just buy a chicken for a thousand Tron and le almost leave it. Of course, you got to feed it every day. Make sure you feed it so it doesn't die or stop laying eggs. <laughs> uh, but then again, you can use those eggs to catch Lori. Now, I already talked a little bit about that because a lot of people are asking use cases for Lori. What can we do forward? And I'll, I'll give you a little hint, but May, please do realize that there is um, there is a step-by-step -step strategic uh, planning of execution on which services needs to go out. And 
Some of you might not agree, some of you will agree, uh, but what, I'm do, what I will say is that the order that we do it in has a reason for it. So, uh, Lori, as we move on, Lori will have use cases. Currently, Lori can be, uh, is used for the, well, the NFT raffle. This is where you can actually win a big prize of Lori. And you also have the amazing high yield of Lori, which is 600%, 700%. Last week, it was 13, 14, 15, 1600% API yearly, which is just massive. I mean, the first week, it was seven, 8,000. Uh, so, but as more and more people are coming in and as more and more people are discovering Lori, of course, the API goes down because more people are sharing the, the pot, so to say. Now, I've seen a lot of people selling their lorries. Uh, this is something that, you know, we, we can't say do or do not. But what I can do is that I can tell you a little bit about what is coming. What, what can, why do you want to keep Lori? What can Lori do for you as we move forward? Now, I'm just going to make an example. Uh, for example, on a farm, on a farmland, you have, you have problems with bugs, with insects, with beetles and all that kind of stuff. And that's kind of animals that it looks like this Lori can eat, right? So we, who knows, we might make a new IDO on a beetle token. And that token has, of course, one use case, but then Lori will be the one maybe catching that beetle. Of course, you can farm it, you can buy it, you can do this. But if you have Lori, you can put a trap for that beetle and Lori will catch them instead. And that's the thing, guys, we are building and developing an entire farmland, an ecosystem. Uh, I'm calling it a farmland because it's just a perfect, uh, we're farming, uh, but we're now doing it on, on a different, kind of different scale. Uh, and we're making it into a, a game, which is easy for people to understand and easy for people to interact with. So, you know, what I want to say, guys, even if you don't see Lori for what it is today, a lot of people didn't see you and me for what it was, you know, a couple of months ago or six months ago either. They had no ID. They, they farmed it. They sold it. They farmed it. They sold it. But I can guarantee you that these people are regretting today because they will be sitting with thousands and thousands of you and me, which they can be using for every single IDO coming up, for every single new token launch, for everything that is coming within this ecosystem. And that is why I've always been recommending you guys to farm and accumulate as much as possible because the tokens we are creating is not just created for fun. Of course, we're going to have a lot of fun with them, but they're not created for fun. They're created with a purpose. They're created with a purpose of creating and integrating the largest ecosystem of DeFi services on a Tron network, if not on all networks. And for to do so, every single token that we launch within the Uswap farmland will have a use case. It will have multiple use cases. So, for example, if you stack up and hold Lori now, you may have the opportunity to, to be able to, to trap or, or collect three, four, maybe five new tokens that will come, be coming into our farmland. So that's where the use case coming, guys. This is where one token can open multiple revenue streams for you in the future. You just got to give us the time to develop it because unfortunately, it's not about snapping the fingers and then it's there. You know, we can put it out. We, there's a lot of coding. There's a lot of programming. There's a lot with the interface. There's a lot of making sure that the interface is connected with the contract in a proper way so that there's no errors, no bugs, no mistakes. Uh, and we always strive to make sure that these contracts is 100%. We go for quality, not quantity. So... All right, so we talked a little bit about the chicken coop as well. We talked a little bit about, you know, what can we expect from the chicken coop and from the expansion of the chicken coop, the farmland itself. Uh, and I do believe that that was what I wanted to bring you guys through today. Uh, I know that there's been a lot of questions about when the next IDO is coming up. So before you guys start typing that in the chat, uh, let me say that we will announce the next IDO by the end of this week. I cannot say today, tomorrow, or the next day, but by the end of this week, we will announce the date and time and of course the whole concept and the project of the next IDO. So there you have that one. Uh, now in, in terms of the chicken coop regarding the feeding, uh, we are going to have a look and see if it would be possible to select how many days we would like to feed the chicken for at once. So for example, let's say I wanna feed a chicken for a week, then I can select on the side here, we'll put a box and we can click to seven days. And then of course the, the TRX amount will be adjusted to seven days as well. So for me, that would be 7,000, 140 TRX for one week. But then I don't actually need to go in every single day to feed the chicken. This has been a couple of days. I actually missed it. I lost on a couple hours. <laughs> I think a lot of other people have done that too. So it's not just me, but I do believe that it would be a good, good feature to have. And it would also allow more users to come in because not everyone uh, has joined the chicken coop yet because they need to go in every single day. And not everyone actually has that opportunity. Working nine to five works, you know, have a lot of time with your family. Uh, we'll see what we can do, but it is up for discussion to see if we can actually increase the, the, the amount of days that we can feed a chicken at once. Uh, all right, I do believe that we have covered 
most of it, yes. So this was basically a workshop that went through more or less everything that we have going on right now. Of course, there's a lot more working on in the background. We do know the wallet of Eclipse City is ongoing, my friends. That has It has been delayed. It has been intentionally delayed due to everything with the NFT marketplace. Since it's still in a beta mode, we want to make, make sure or we want to wait until the alpha so that we can use the, the correct you know uh, APIs and everything to integrate and store NFTs in the Uswap wallet as well. So that will come, my friends. It has not been forgotten. Trust me. Uh, I know everybody is excited about that and it will be uh, a great addition to the ecosystem as well. Uh, but everything in, in its time. Uh, as I said, co coding and, and programming is always subject to change, but we are working as fast as we can on this. Currently, what we are working on right now is, of course, the next IDO, which will be a new addition to the Uswap farmland. And I do believe, I, I know what you guys, I know you guys will love that one. I've already seen it. I've seen the, <laughs> I've seen the whole concept uh, and we will be working on that for a couple of days. So longer than a couple of days right now, but uh, I am super excited about uh, announcing this to you. Uh, and I hope that I can do so this la later this week, uh, as soon as possible, at least. All right, guys, with that, we're going to stop the share. Let's see if we have any questions that has been coming on uh, and we will see. All right. So one, the first one, hey, boss, how much dollars will there be in the next EFT revenue pool? Uh, that has not been decided or not been set yet. Now, uh, let me see here. There was, we were talking about, uh, so we have been talking about a few things regarding EFT, right? So we've been talking about the possibility of burn, burning you and me. And we've also been talking about the possibility of, uh, what can we say, to have a requirement to participate in the ER pools. Uh, because a lot of people are buying the EFT a couple of the day, the sec two days before the EFT pool runs, they put it into the EFT ER pool. And then once it ends, they sell it off which is why we can have seen a decline in the price. Now that this decline, I gotta say, I'm happy about it because I'm st stacking up on those EFT because as me, you guys know what's coming. Come on, you've heard it so many times. You've already seen it twice. <laughs> there will be a lot. So, but the thing is, so we are right now going through uh, and figuring out a way where we can put that requirement. My requirement and what I'm looking for is that in order for you to actually participate in the ER pool, you will need to have EFT in your wallet for a minimum of six to eight weeks. Before that, you will not be able to participate in the ER pool. If you buy EFT, well, hold it in your wallet for a minimum of six to eight weeks, and then you can start start taking, uh, getting benefits from the ER pool because it's not fair for, for those who have been here from the day one has not departed with one single EFT since that day that they can come into an ER pool and they receive the same share that somebody who bought their EFT yesterday. For me, that is not a fair way of distributing the funds to the EFT community. The, the funds should be distributed to the EFT community that is loyal to the projects, that is holding the tokens, that is not a part of dumping the price. And I do believe, I see a lot of heads shaking here, so I do believe that everybody agrees with me. Uh, and the reason, okay, so due to this, due to that we are now undergoing this, it means that we will need to rewrite the whole contract for EFT. Uh, there's a few things that will be needed to done and everything will be needed to move over there, which means that the next ER pool will be slightly delayed. It will be postponed until we have managed to uh, get those contracts in order and make sure that we have both the burn and the requirement of participating in the ER pool set. Once that's set, we're going to launch the next one again, of course. So I cannot give you uh, not, neither a time uh, or an amount, but I can tell you it won't be less than it was last time. Uh, so now one more thing I want to touch, touch on this one is that because a lot of people said, why do we don't need to burn EFT? It only has 55,000. And yeah, I agree with you guys. Absolutely. It only has 55,000. It, it's already scarce. But what you guys need to realize is this, that, okay, so let's just say that we put a burn. Let's say we put a 5% burn on all EFT that goes into the next ER pool. That means all of you who put EFT into the ER pool will, at the time you go out, have 0 0.5 or have 5% less EFT. If, if 30,000 EFT goes into that pool, that would be 1,500 EFT that will be burned, taken out of circulation. Now, what, what then happens? Okay, now a lot of you are thinking, well, I'm going to get less EFT. I'm not going to get as much EFT as I had. That's not good. That's not good at all. But this is not the right way of thinking, my friends, because if there's less EFT, the ER prize pool and the share that that, that one EFT gets will increase. So let's say instead of 55,000, we have 45,000. Instead of right now 32,000 farming in the ER pool, you'll have 27,000 farming in the ER pool. And 
you divide the full amount on the 45,000. That's how you can actually find what one is worth. When it's 35,000, how much do you think one EFT is worth in the ER pool? If you burn it all the way to 25,000, what do you think will happen? How much do you think if you were receiving, if you had 100 EFT now and you're receiving, let's say, I don't know, uh, $50 a day from the ER pool, 50 USDT a day from the pool. Now, if we burn 50%, for example, of the EFT that's on, suddenly that 100 EFT will give you 100 plus USDT every day. Because if we take EFT out of the circulation, the remaining EFT will have a higher value in the ER pool, which means that you're not losing anything. What's happening is that you're making more money in the ER pool. We're creating scarcity of EFT and the price of EFT will most likely reach new all time highs. So it's important for us to understand why we're doing these things as well. Once we understand that, I don't think anyone has any problems. I think the only problem is, is that we're not burning these tokens fast enough. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so that is a little bit about EFT. Uh, let me see here. Uh, nice tease. Haha. <laughs> I'm not going to show what that meant, but don't panic. Just hold. You is going for all time high. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, let me see here. Hi, Andres. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Can you send me the recording, please? Thank you and greetings, Mike. Absolutely, Mike. We're going to upload this onto YouTube as soon as we're done, and we're going to post it into all groups. So if you did, we're, we're not here on this call, please share it or please watch it. And if you have friends that wasn't on a call, please take the video and share it with them as well so they can have a look. Uh, <clears throat> question. Uh, what is the value of the trap for Lori? I bought it for 1,000 TRX, and I'm getting only one Lori in return every seven days when I could have used that money to buy another chicken, upgrade, and get one more egg, you and me, daily. That is worth a lot more than one lorry a week. Uh, absolutely, uh, Aninion. Um, I think you need to ask this into the chat group so that we can help you out a little bit with uh, with screenshots and stuff like that. Uh, and we will uh, we will help you out. I think. Oh my God, what? And I'm getting so with so for to get one lorry, but we'll take it in the group. But I'm just going to ask you this question. So to get one lorry every seven weeks, how many eggs do you have in your trap? Is it one egg in the trap? Because one egg in a trap does not bring up too much lorry. As you saw, I had 361 uh, eggs in my trap and I had 136 lorry. What you need to understand is that the lorry trap works as a, a farming pool. The lorry trap has a certain amount of lorries trapped in it. And the more eggs that is now fighting for these lorries, the less lorry for each egg, of course. The same way of, uh, as, as farming and staking, the same concept, so to say. But please, uh, and then, uh, please get into the, the, the chat, uh, provide us with some screenshots, and we will do our best to help out. We have our amazing moderators, Hellish, Annette, and Rhea, that is always here at any time, which is adds off and a little bit more for that. Uh, okay, let me see here. Uh, hey, Andreas, how much does it cost to mint an NFT and how does music NFTs work? Uh, Stefan, great, great question. So as of right now, while we're in the beta mode, uh, there's actually no cost to mint your NFT onto the Uswap NFT marketplace. Uh, this is because we want everybody to be, have an opportunity to, to get to know, to be familiar, to, to, to learn the system as well without spending money on it. Now, as we go out of the beta phase, there will be a small cost of minting NFTs through the use of NFT marketplace, much due to the reason that we are the ones coding all these, that has been coding all everything and making sure that you got a royalty in your contract, that you got this, that you got that. Uh, so there will be a fee. I don't know how much it will be. We haven't really discussed that yet, but I can imagine somewhere between 50 to 150 TRX, uh, which is approximately five to $15. Uh, not even that, maybe maybe three to twelve dollars. Uh, and if we're looking at you know the cost of minting an, an NFT on Ethereum, we're looking at one hundred and forty eight dollars. If you're looking at the cost of minting an NFT on on, on Binance, it's about twenty five, twenty eight, thirty dollars. So, minting an NFT onto Tron uh, is both you know it's it's cost efficient, efficient, it's it's time efficient, and it's it's just easy, it's simple. Uh, now, how does music NFT work? I would really, really appreciate, Stefan, if you came to the uh, NFT um, on Tron group that we have on uh, Telegram. If, you do, if you're not in it, uh, go to the Uswap group and ask for it. Uh, and we'll take these questions there. Because regarding NFT, uh, how does music NFT work? It's, it works more or less the same way as, as any picture or something like that. You upload the file. Uh, but I want to make sure. So I want to have a chat with my developers uh, for the NFT section first, just to confirm the correct way. Uh, so please get, let uh, get back to the group and we will ch chat there. Can we vote on the burning first? Yes, of course, Rhea. Of course, we will vote on the on the burning. Uh, I'm not taking any decisions by myself. This is a community. 
uh, community driven project it is governed by the community uh, and so is all decisions on it so what we're going to do is that we are going to give you guys options and then you can vote between those options do we want to burn 0.15 percent do we want to burn 0.5 percent do we want to burn one percent or do we want to burn five percent and only those who hold eft will be able to vote of course because this is a vote regarding eft and uh, when something is about you and me it's you and me we vote with. but yeah absolutely we will have a burn uh, or at least have a floor limit of burning the supply like it only burns down to 50k or 40k yeah yeah not so sure about that <laughs> not, not so sure about that maybe we'll have a limit but that limit will be probably be closer to 25k or something like that i mean just keep in mind that it's not nothing that will happen overnight in the example that i explained earlier if there's 30,000 eft into the smart contract for farming in the er pool and we take 5% of that. So 10% of 30,000 is 3,000. And then 5%, of course, would be 1,500. So that means from one ER pool, 1,500 EFT goes off the market. Then next ER pool, now we're up to 12 weeks, three months, another 1,500. So for on three months, that means on an average, we might be burning 1,000 UME a month. And if we have 55,000, I think we can go a long, long, long way before we start hitting 35,000, 30,000 and all that. And during that time, this is the time we need for people to actually see what we got. What is the EFT? What is the ER pool? How can these people be farming pure USDT by simply holding a token? They want to learn that. They want to know that, especially when these pools are getting up to a half a million, 750,000, above a million. Can you imagine if there's 25,000 EFT, you hold maybe two, three, 400 of them, and you're going into an ER pool with a million dollar in it? Just imagine what that will do for you. And just imagine that these pools will continuously come as long as this ecosystem generates revenue. And I don't see that this ecosystem stopping to generate revenue in the, in the near future. I can tell you that we have one way to go. And that is straight up there. All right, guys, let me go. Uh, sorry, Andreas, what does ER pool stands for? ER stands for Eclip Eco sorry, ecosystem reward, ecosystem reward pool. That is what it is. So from all the services we have, from the farming, from the chicken coop, from the games, from uh, God knows what, there is a revenue created. There's a revenue created for the user, for you. And on the back end, there's a revenue created for the ecosystem. And that revenue goes to the ecosystem reward pools and is being shared among you guys again, who hold the EFT, of course. We are talking about, we are talking about putting up an ER pool for you and me as well. It is nothing in the near future, maybe by the end of the year or something, but we are absolutely looking to reward our UME holders as well. Even though our UME holders has access to everything, already with the UME, you can buy your EFT with you and me, you can buy into IDOs with you and me, you can farm tokens that are being listed on the exchange with you and me, you can farm more you and me, you know, with you and me, you can farm Lori. There's just so much you can do with you and me. And we haven't, we're not even 12 months in. So just imagine what will happen in the next 12 months. All right. Uh, by the way, I got a 10 eggs in a trap, but they are capturing Lori's in a very slow pace. I think it's more worthy to buy another chicken and get one egg daily. Well, uh, you know, absolutely. I mean, if you if you feel like it's more profitable for you to, to buy another chicken and take that egg, do so. Absolutely. Absolutely. Take the chicken, take the eggs. And then since you already have the lorry trap open, next time you buy a chicken, the trap is already open. Use your eggs in the, the trap, accumulate some of those lorries, keep your eggs because those eggs you will be able to use elsewhere as well. They'll be coming a lot of animals to our useful farmland that loves eggs. We got, I don't know. Well, we got snakes, we got lizards, we got, you know, birds. There's just, just so many of them. Uh, and I can guarantee you that a lot of them will have a habitat habitat at the use swap farmland. All right, let me see here. So uh, let me see here. EFT burning will make people not enter into ER pool. So entering ER will be penalized compared to those that are not entering it. Well, Sampath, I got to tell you one thing. All right, so if I put all my EFT into the ER pool, and they take 5% and the 5% of what I put in is burned and none of you put anything into the ER pool. I'm happy as shit. I'm sorry. I am because then all of that money will go to me. <laughs> no, but I am. I'm sorry. I'm real. I just, I'm, I can't, I can't hide my excitement for that. I mean, I'm just happy if people don't want to go into the ER pool because that means more for me, more for you and more for you who actually does go into the ER pool. And guess what? We will accumulate so much USDT that the 5%, I'm just now, I'm just saying as an example, the 5% ER, uh, EFT that was burned, well, guess what? I can buy back maybe 15% or 17% or 20% of what I had with the USDT that I collected in that ER pool. So I'm not going to be in a loss. 
I'm going to be in a <laughs> huge profit. So, but this is, you know, this is all up to each and every one of you. If you feel that you do not want to go into the ER pool because you do not want to lose any of the EFT you have, please do so. If you have a whole team that doesn't want to go in, tell them not to go in. That'll be more for us. <laughs> okay, so, so many times now I have read update for Lume, update for Lume, update for Lume. Guys, you gotten all the updates for Lume in the groups over the past days. I mean, I don't know what more you want me to say. Do you want me to say that Lume is going to the moon, is going to have 14 games. They're coming out in one and a half year. I can give you that. <laughs> in one and a half year, we'll have 14 games. Patience, my friends, patience. This is all we need. Patience is not just about waiting, my friends. It's about how you act and react while you wait as well. It is very, very important because for me to see, give me update on Lume, give me update on Lume, Lume decreasing in price, Lori going down, give me update, what's the use case? It frustrates me. It really do. It frustrates me <laughs> because guys, these tokens has been on the market for two and a half week and one week. And you want them to perform magic stunts as they were, I don't know, as it was, I don't remember, even remember that the magician anymore, but that, that's, that doesn't matter. Siegfried and, and Roy, <laughs> you want me to be a Siegfried and Roy and just poof, and it's here, but that doesn't really work that way. I told you guys so many times, there's only so much I can do. Listen, we've just put $70,000 on a marketing that will cover the Asian and the European region. And we also put $50,000 on marketing with Coinsilla so we can go on to all the major crypto sites for the next three months with head banners and click ads and God knows what in order to bring more mass awareness. We are doing as much as we can. My mouth can only go that far. I need to rely on this community as well to share what we have. I need to be able to rely on that you who participates in a project, who holds the token, will actually help that token to, to, to grow, to increase. And how can we do that? The only way that I know is by sharing it, by talking about it, by, by letting others know. Because if you don't let others know, how can they know? You think this project is brilliant. You're making profit, you're earning, you're farming, you're staking, you got a chicken, you got eggs, you're catching lorries, and you know what's coming. But still, you can't share this with your friends and family. Why not? Are you selfish? Come on. Wealth is to share with others this we have something very special something very unique here and the only way that it will not stay unique and not stay special is if we all just i hope he does what he's supposed to do to get that token to go up he should do something yeah, and he should do something you know this attitude <laughs> this attitude won't go long I, I'm just, you know, I, I'm talking seriously with you guys here. I'm, it's, it's a lot of, it, we're having a little fun, but you know, in all this fun, there's a serious matter to it all. I said so many times, there is nothing more powerful than a correlated community that shares the same vision. There is nothing stronger than the force of humans. What we can do together can break any records out there. And that is exactly what we're aiming to do. So I want to, let me just see. Oh, there were some people some more questions. I'm going off here. I'm talking too much here. <laughs> um, all right, let's do some questions. I just want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this amazing project. You know, and what you, I also want to let you know that what makes this project amazing, it's you guys. It's not me. It's not the technology. It's not my devs. It's you. It's the community that makes this the brilliant project it is. All right, let me see here. Uh, can we increase the API on the EFT solar pool while waiting for the ER pool? Uh, no, we cannot. Whoa, that's good. No cost to mint NFTs. Cost a fortune on Ethereum platform. That's absolutely right, Stefan. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. Right now, there's no cost. Okay, there's, my apologies. There is a transaction fee cost, but it's like between three and 10 Tron, I think. So it's not, it's, it's not much at all. It's like, a, it's, if you take the transaction fee, say maximum $5, maximum $5. So up to 50 TRX. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey boss, could you consider for the next ER pool a little bit less weeks on hold because many of the EFT holders have bought more in the previous days taking advantage of the cheaper price? I'm not sure if I understood that. Do you want me to have, so the ER pool, you want the ER pool to be two weeks instead of three? Let me know. Uh, are we trying to get new projects for Eclipse City Technology? So Eclipse City Technology is, is going to be a technology company where we uh, where we deliver or where we offer uh, blockchain services, uh, smart contract services, DAP services to anyone, any entity, any company or any government around this world. Uh, for example, you all know um, 
uh, Venezuela, uh, El Salvador uh, legalized Bitcoin, and they had um, they had a partner who created their official El Salvador crypto wallet that the government is giving out to every single person in El Salvador. These are the kind of jobs that the, our technology team team will take upon us. There are so many that is looking for this right now. I am actually in communication with the government in Gambia, because the Gambian government is highly open. They're really actually right now looking into ways of utilizing smart contracts and blockchain to improve the country's infrastructure. And that is something we can help them with. So uh, I'm not saying everything, anything is said in deal, but we are in communication with them. And if we can get a mission like that, or if we can get something like that, guys, when you have a project making software or making, you know, services for governments, for institutions, for banks, for God knows what, we got a reputation. <laughs> we got a reputation. All right, so let me see here. Uh, will the number of TRX required for feeding the chicken go down or will it keep increasing? Uh, it hasn't increased yet. Uh, it has actually been given with a discount for the first seven days, which is 20 TRX. Uh, it is said that it will increase to 30 TRX per chicken. Uh, we will have a look at this due to the recent surge uh, or recent increase in TRX, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and we will get back to you about that. Uh, thank you so much, Andreas. The earning from the use of ATM is fantastic. Is there any plan to mitigate against impermanent loss? Uh, we are also, we are looking into that. Uh, I can't really respond to that right here, right now, because I don't have enough details for it. Uh, so we will see if we can do it on the next one. <clears throat> out of out of interest, do you know Justin Sun? Do you talk much? Oh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> now, okay, so uh, me personally, I don't know Justin Sun. Uh, and uh, from experience, Justin Sun has not talked about, he doesn't, he doesn't need to talk about me, but he, does, he hasn't even mentioned Uswap. He hasn't even mentioned any of our services. Uh, I'm starting to feel he's, uh, if he's uh, trying to neglect us by purpose or something. But uh, I'm going to Singapore very soon uh, for a global DeFi investment summit. And uh, Justin Sun is invited there. Justin Sun lives in Singapore. So I assume and I hope that he will be there. Uh, and I will make sure that we, we tie connections there. We do have, uh, I do have another, a few other connections uh, where I can actually reach both the Tron Foundation and Justin Sun uh, through, for example, Jenny from the blockchain, as we saw. Uh, who also attended on the the last DeFi summit in um, in Dubai? She was the one who actually held the uh, the post interview with Justin Sun before the before the event started itself, just to kick off the event. So I definitely have the the routes and the connections to get there uh, and to to talk to them. But as of right now, I don't feel that we need to. Uh, he's doing his thing. We're doing our thing and i gotta say our thing is 10 times better <laughs> so the time will come absolutely <laughs> when when uh justin sun and myself will, will have a one-on-one -on -one chat uh, when that will come i cannot say uh is it something that i'm rushing to to make happen no uh but uh, it will absolutely be a good boost for uh for the use swap ecosystem now one thing they did good of course is that justin well, well it was maybe it wasn't justin sun but justin sun's team and the tron foundation's expert uh, awarded Uswap with the second place in the DeFi hackathon that Justin Sun arranged, uh, and that's pretty big. I think they had a, they were selecting between 127 different projects, uh, where Uswap came in second. So at least they know who we are. All right, guys, I see no more questions. I do see a hand up from my beloved or our beloved community manager, Mr. Ron Jones. I almost wanted to say Ron Bones Jones here. Uh, asked you to unmute, my friend. How are you today? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thanks. I hope everyone's okay. Uh, thanks for. Uh... That's a really good Zoom. Uh, sorry, I joined a little bit late, but um, no worries, brother. You're on your uh, I, you're on the road. I will tell you guys, France is a lovely country. I'm driving through France right now. The weather can't make its mind up. It's hot. It's cold. It's rainy. It's sunny, <laughs> but the countryside's lovely. So, uh, I just want to have a little contribution. I haven't actually spoken to everybody ever. I don't think uh, in the history of you swap. So, thanks very much for for tolerating me, guys. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Um, I just wanted to say that. There's a huge number of people in this community that are amazing and they're powerful, okay? One of the things that never fails to blow my mind is the amount of intelligence, the amount of knowledge that you guys possess. I mean, I'm no crypto expert. I don't pretend to be. What I am is I'm a people person. I like to help people, regardless of whether they're up, they're down, they're in the middle. And I like to bring people together and I like to get them doing stuff in a unified direction with the same kind of ideals and the same kind of passion so that we can do amazing things. That's that's what I care about. That's what I'm good at. If you want a crypto expert, you talk to the other moderators or you try and get hold of Andreas. Good luck with that. He's really busy. Even I struggle to get hold of him, right? But you talk to those guys if you want a crypto expert. And what I will tell you 
from a non-crypto expert's point of view, from a layman's perspective, from a new person coming into this sphere, is the first thing that really grabs my attention is how easy it is to do things in Uswap. I've checked out things elsewhere, all right? And I find them very complicated and I have a hard time trying to understand the numbers and everything is laid out in Uswap. Real easy. Why am I telling you guys this? Telling Because I think every single one of us is so used to Uswap that we take how easy it is to use for granted. So, right, stop taking it for granted. It's been built easy. It's the new standard way of doing things within yield farming and making money for yourselves or making money if you've got another project. How simple it is to participate in Uswap. All right. When I first got involved with this community in the role that I'm in now, Andreas was stressed off. He said because he was trying to do everything at once. Um, and I swear at him an awful lot in private, and I tell him to take some days off and spend some time with his family because if he didn't, he would do this 24/7. The best way to get Andreas to bugger off is for everyone to get together and do more stuff as a community. You guys are absolutely amazing. It's not just the mods that blow my mind, it's the community members who ask really good questions that tell me that you guys know what you're talking about. And I love that about you guys. What I find slightly frustrating is that you guys have this amazing wealth of knowledge. You've got this amazingly easy to use system. We've got the chicken coop, which is a really easy, fun way to learn how to get into yield farming. And we have the vets, which we can do on things like this. Guys, why aren't you doing more? help your tokens get that much stronger. If I have one way to make you guys is take that knowledge you all have, share it with the wider community, the people that aren't involved, invite them to get involved with the chicken coop. Help them, hold their hand, show them what it means to do a bit of yield farming, and then explain how they can make some profit. But most important, teach these guys being paid for hand is, is not what crypto is, okay? People who pay for hands make some money. Of course they do. They make quick profits. But if you ask the people who pay for handed Bitcoin 10 years ago, how much money they made compared to the people that held on to their Bitcoin, how much money they've made, you know they are talking pennies, not pounds. We're talking cents, not dollars. So listen, I think you guys are amazing. I love you all. I get lots of messages of support from you guys that I really appreciate. I know that it's taken a lot of stress off of Andreas, the fact that you guys in the Uswap community have taken the time to learn and love what it is that we do. But do me a favor, all of you, do not take for granted how easy it is to do Uswap and show other people how easy it is to do it as well. Because they're going to turn to you guys. You are at the forefront of something incredible. You have taken the time over the last seven, eight months to really get to grips with what it is that we're doing. You guys are the experts. All right. Andreas has some clever ideas and he's bringing in some new things to help make it more interesting and more fun and more profitable. But he's one man. I'm one guy. Okay. Between the two of us, we can't drive this animal forward. You guys are the engine. You want a Lambo? Be the engine in the Lambo. You want to go to the moon? Be the rocket. Yeah. It's not about getting to the moon. It's about being the rocket. You guys are incredible. Don't take yourselves for granted. Okay. I love seeing the community coming together. I love seeing you guys get passionate and hyped and excited. I love seeing how much goes into those pools. Numbers don't lie. I can see how many of you are participating. Spread your wings a little more, guys, and let's get other people as intelligent as you. Share the love. All right. So thank you for that. I just wanted to weigh in, say hi to you guys. This is the real me, not the... Uh, not the image that you see on my telegram, okay? That's that's my version of an NFT. That's me trying to get involved I in a really rubbish so way. Awesome, but yeah, you guys are awesome. Keep being awesome, all right? Do some voting, get some people involved. Don't take for granted how easy you swap is to use because you can use that. You can teach people, share your referral links. It's going to help you as well. Keep being amazing, guys. Keep being awesome. Thanks, Andreas. Awesome, Ron. Thank you so much for coming on. And, and absolutely, we want to have you on for, for many more call, calls to come as well. It's always nice to have, you know, uh, not just me on the call, but others input as well. Uh, you know, uh, so I think people love to hear from you as well. They see you, they, they, they type with you, they write with you, they, they hear your announcements, your questions, uh, your replies, and now they finally get to hear from you a little bit as well. Uh, and, you know, I got to say thank you so much for everything you've been doing, Ron, because as a community manager for the, for the uh, Uswap ecosystem, you have done so much you kind of turned this whole thing 180 degrees with the help of our, our lovely a lovely ladies as well of course but uh you you made us uh, you made me realize a, a few things but that's because you have that skill within people management and and, and way to act and way to interact uh, which i don't have and this is what it's all about it's about finding each other's weaknesses and finding each other's strength and utilizing them for the greater good of everyone and that's exactly what we're doing here in the in the uswap ecosystem so thank you so much ron for being by my side
Thank you to all of you for being here in this ecosystem, for being in this project, having faith, having you know vision and the same mission that we have. And that is to ultimately create a fully decentralized ecosystem where people can thrive together, not just for years, but for decades and decades to come. All right, with that, guys, I think we are going to drop off. Uh, we have some amazing comments here for you, Ron, and some amazing one, ones for me, and then some amazing ones for the community. So, guys, once more, thank you so much for everything you do, the support, the commitment, the love, the engagement, everything. It would not, we would not have been where we are today if it wasn't for you. So let's do this. Let's lock arm. Let's take a step forward and let's make sure that we bring you swap to the world. Okay. With that, I want to say thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Hopefully I'll see you in the groups as well and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye guys.